City of Opelika is one of the many across our country paying homage to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice to our country. News 3's Alex Sorens begins our team coverage with those who served our country who are weighing in on what this day means to them. Teresa, these are red poppies. They were given out to all those who attended the ceremony this morning. They are warned to remember those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice to our country. With red poppies pinned to the chest, folks gathered outside Opelika City Hall under the stars and stripes to honor those who fought for the banner yet wave. To remember the dead is to pay homage not only to the fallen, but to their spirit of sacrifice and valor. The loss of those valiant men and women tears the very fabric of the family and the nation. Among those present Monday was Albert Killian, a Korean War veteran. I had missed one of these ceremonies and so since it started, it's incumbent upon me to show honor, and this is one of the best ways of doing it. Opelika native Van Daughter served as the guest speaker for the event. The men and women who gave their lives in service to this nation are, by no doubt, heroes. When their country called, they answered. Some volunteered, some were drafted. But it didn't make any difference how they found their way into the ranks of the military. Each took it upon themselves to serve faithfully and to their fullest. To honor prisoners of wars and those missing in action, the missing man table was conducted, set for one to signify they are still missing with hopes of their return. But on this day, certain words come to mind for those who have served. Thank you. Thank you. There's no way to express it in, in, in a language. The act of honoring them is what we should do. Because it is right and just. The day's guest speaker, Van Daughter, who you just saw a little while ago, charged those in attendance to teach the younger generations what today really means. It's not just a day for barbecues and going swimming. It's a day to honor those who protected our freedoms. Teresa.